Hello, we have t to the power of t and this equals t to the power of 2. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, don't forget the fact that the highest power of t here is 2. So we are expecting two different solutions. Now, we are also going to represent the two solutions in a graph. So I will encourage you to watch the video to the end because you have so much to learn. Now let's start by making use of this identity. If you have a to the power of b, and this equals a to the power of c. Now, when the bases are the same, and there's an equality sign here, then you can compare the exponent. That means b equals c. So if you do the same thing here, you can all compare the exponent, and you have t equals 2 because the bases are the same. Now, this is just one of the solutions. And this is just one out of two solutions. And this is not actually solving. This is just making use of this identity. So I'm going to show you how to solve it step by step and get all the two solutions once and for all. So let's do that immediately. We can start by recopying the problem. So we have t to the power of t equals t to the power of 2. So let's make use of natural log. So we have ln of t to the power of t. And this equals ln of t to the power of 2. Now, if you apply natural log, you need to also apply the property of logarithm. And the property is if you have log of a to the power of b this equals b times log a so the b here will come behind the log now that means this property here can also be applied to natural log because natural log is to the base of e while this log is to the base of 10. so we have this t here will come behind this and this two will come behind this so what we are going to have is t ln of t equals 2 ln t. Now, we are solving for t. So we can divide this by ln t. And we can also divide this by ln t. So what happens here is that ln t divides ln t. And what we are going to have left here is t and this equals ln t also divides ln t and what we are going to have left is 2. So this is still giving us one solution. So that means we need to consider another method. Let's have t to the power of t equals t to the power of 2. Now what we are going to do is Let's divide each part of this equation by t to the power of 2. We divide this by t to the power of 2. We divide this by t to the power of 2. So what happens here is that t power 2 cancels t power 2. We have t to the power of t divided by t to the power of 2. And this equals 1. So, the next step will be for us to apply this index law. If you have a to the power of n, we vary by a to the power of n. This equals a to the power of n minus n. This time, when you have the two bases the same and the division, you subtract the exponent. So there's t, there's t, so we can subtract the exponent. So what we are going to have is simply t to the power of t minus 2, we are subtracting the exponent, equals 1. Now, at this point, we can then introduce natural log. We have t power t minus 2 equals natural log 1. Now, we go back to the same logarithm property. Remember, Log a to the power of b 
equals b times log a. So this property means that the t minus 2 here will come behind the natural log. So what we are going to have is t minus 2 times natural log of t equals natural log of 1. So from here, we need to find out what is natural log of 1. And natural log of 1 is 0. So whenever you see natural log of 1, it means 0. We have t minus 2 times natural log of t equals 0. From here, we can have t minus 2 equals 0 or natural log of t equals 0. So let's solve these two individual equations. Now for this one here, you have t minus 2 equals 0. You simply isolate t by taking this negative 2 over here. You have t equals 2. This is our t1 and this is the same thing that we had earlier on. Now let's also solve this other equation. So we have natural log of t equals 0. And we are solving for t. That means we need to eliminate this natural log. And for us to do that, we make use of e. e to the exponent of natural log of t equals e to the exponent of 0. We are just applying this e here in order to eliminate the natural log. So the e eliminate the ln. And what you are going to have here is that you have t, which is what you have here, equals e to the power of 0. And from here, you have t equals e to the power of 0 is 1. So this is the second answer that we have been looking for. So that means we have two solutions, which are the first one is t1 equals 2 this one here, and the second one is t2 equals 1. So these are the two solutions. Now, before we head over to the graph, let me test these values first before we head over to the graph. So I'm going to check for these values. So we have check. So we have t1 equals 2 and t2 equals 1. The question remains, t power t equals t power 2. So let's start with t1. That means we are going to insert this value for t. You have 2 power 2 equals 2 power 2, right? And 2 power 2 is 4, and this equals 2 power 2, is 4. So this has satisfied the equation. Let's consider this other value of t. So what we are going to do is we also recopy the problem t power t equals t power 2. We make use of 1 now. 1 power 1 equals 1 power 2. And obviously 1 power 1 is 1 and this equals 1 power 2 is 1. Don't forget that 1 to the power of any number is 1. So those two solutions have satisfied the equation. Now the next thing is for us to check the graph. So here is the graphical representation of the two solutions. Look at it here. And look at this point of intersection. This is 1. That is our t2. And this is 2, and this is our t1. So here is the graph. It grows exponentially. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it, and that is the end of the video. I believe you enjoyed it, and you have seen all the steps and all the different methods of solving this problem. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends.
and I'm going to see you again soon. Thank you and goodbye.